When I was 14, 15 years old, my parents had a fish market. And, you know, very often uh, in a you know, wedding, we did the catering, 150, 200 people catering. So every single guest get a whole piece of the Thai sea bream fish. So what I did, 150 to 250. And beginning all the way after guts off, skewering, then all the way grow, be 20 sea bream, come back, turn over, <laughs> go all the way back. That's why I love this fish. So tasty, beautiful fish. Hi, my name is Masa Takayama. Today I'm gonna to use Thai sea bream. So what I like to do, my home, way to eat, I show you. This kind of, this sea bream, two kilo size, beautiful fish. It's a very famous fish in Japan, very well known fish. So I make a fillet, I make a sashimi first. This bone attached to it, and the main bone, all the way fold, all the way fillet on the bone, cut through. This is a belly bone, we cut off the bone attached to it. I make sashimi and this is bothers me, right? I just cut through. This is the best part, the belly. And this middle, this tiny bones here, cut off, cut off. Also, I'm gonna use, use up everything for soup. And now, we're going to peel the skin. This fish has a lot of nice fat, the skin side. This skin also we're gonna use for soup. This is a back part of a Thai fish. But this time, make sure there's no bone for sashimi. Sometimes, you know, sharp knife, still a little bit of remaining bones. Today, I show you sashimi, which is when I eat my home, not at my, I'm gonna serve a restaurant. It's a totally different. What about in season, today I'm gonna to use little by little the kind of salad, sea bream salad. This is a watercress, a little bit of that. This kale, julian, all over. A little bit of frisés in. This is a bed. Then, I'm gonna slice sashimi. <clears throat> that normally we slice this way, but things, what I like to do eat in my home, score it. They catch the sauce, more sauce. So I cut this way. But this time, just hold the knife this way. No, not this way, okay? The bill pushing, you know? Then just simply just slice it. See, open up all of the skin side. Also, all the fat coming out naturally. Yeah, like that. This, all the fat coming in more and more and more, and also catch the sauce same time. But for sushi, just slice it, right? But when score it, the fishes get Nice texture, has a texture, also a fat, umami coming in more. The belly part is a beautiful, nice fat, like this. This part is beautiful, gently squirt. And the thick part, more deeper. And this belly part is nice fat, the thin, thin meat like this, thin, cut a little thinner. And a little bit kosher salt, just a little bit, tiny bit. This salt brings out more flavor, but what I like is just, I wanna eat a bit light, because I want to eat a lot. This, this beautiful skin side. Red onion. Chopped a little bit. Chive a little bit. This scallion, I love scallion too. But this is a fancy way we have a shizu flower today. So shizu flower gives the flavor. Normally springtime we use a lot. Then, I'm going to give a hot oil. Yeah, this is from a Chinese style a little bit. Give the nice flavor. This is a roasted sesame, dark sesame oil. Give the flavor a little bit. Today, this is the cocoa orange pond sauce. So we just squeeze fresh orange juice. Kind of ratio of orange juice 60%, 40, 30% uh, regular soy, maybe 10% fish sauce. Then add a little bit of vinegar if you like, or acid. And chili pepper, roasted. Cherry pepper, go in a little bit. Yeah, don't buy pondu sauce. Just very simple. This the sauce. Two, different. Then eat. Hmm. So good. The, whatever the, my restaurant leftover fish, bring him home. What I do, my style, is my way to eat. That's what I like. So first we did, I did that um, sashimi dish. Next, I'm gonna use up 100% this entire Thai fish. So now I'm breaking down to cut for the main bone. I don't like waste, you know, that fish, veggie, whatever, you know, they are 
we live bone, you know, to use up 100%. That's the way, right? So I don't want to lose any fish, vegetable, even meat. Take all the broth from, you know, bone. This is the main bone. We're going to make 100% soup. So just a little bit of salt. You can tell all this nice, give it a nice flavor. This main bone has a great umami to the soup. So I'm gonna use up head to tail, everything. Be careful when you cut this knife, huh? I mean the head, very, especially Thai head with very hard head. So this sharp knife, a thin knife is good and cover it, not slippery. Eyeball, eyeball, you push like this and push this down, all the way. It opens it. Then if you have a kind of big thick skewer, if you don't have that sign, just go through on the, throw on the grill. So we do a, here to through the eyeball, here through the eyeball, they hold them very well. And one more time, with the salt. Then let's move to a grill. This is a head, Thai head. We're gonna grill it. Oil oven, 350, 400. Throw in quickly, cook, take it out. Just check how much cook, 80%, not 100%. Uh, this is the grill that takes, you know, 15 minutes around. Broth should be ready. Clean water and celery, give it a flavor. Little carrot and kom. So you, you can have put it around whatever you like, whatever your leftover vegetable in the fridge. Just throw in the kombu, give the umami, and heat it up. This is going to pour over the grilled fish. Then give the grilled fish, give it all the flavor, another umami too. See, already being cooked. Right? Cut this, beautiful. Nice juice, nice fat, right? Give the tail, cut this. Beautiful, oh, right? This tail gives a more natural flavor. So don't throw away. Don't throw away any kind of fish, tail, bone, anything. Don't throw, don't waste it. Give it more flavor. This is a real chef. <laughs> and this part of meat, you can eat, break it down with soup. If you like rice, just leftover rice, Throw in in the soup, like a congee, eat together with the soup. It's very good too. And before that, you know, just whatever you have home, this kind of big bowl, or you know, in the family, a small bowl doesn't doesn't matter. But before that, heat it up, warm it up completely. Especially winter time, cold, it's a hot dish, hot soup. So this dish make it warm enough. See, this is almost cooked, right? This one goes to the underneath the plate. See, almost this is done, right? Don't more than the tail, a little bit more crispy. The belly, just like sliced, ready. This part will already. Now check the fish head. It should be ready. This fish ready goes through the, all the way to over here. Now this kombu dashi getting ready. Be before I go half, all the kombu out. Then soup is ready. Then goes to all the way. So right now it's, it's all veggie stock and now fish, grilled fish. Now all the umami goes into soup. You see all the fat, such a beautiful dish. Then if you like scallion, put a little bit of scallion and lime or lemon, whatever you like, citrus. This gives a nice acid and flavor. This is it. Winter time, not perfect timing, you know. Cold outside, snowing. In the home, got together, sipping soup, leftover rice throw in, noodle throw in, eat together. This is the other side of the part of the Thai sea bream. I'm gonna make my style fried rice, which is what I like. Just chop it up. It's a gorgeous, you know, Thai fried rice, sea bream fried rice. So this is, you can do in the home, it's not a fancy fish, you can do just regular salmon or fried bass or trout, bring back home, just chop it up. Same time, a little cure, a little bit of salt. Then after that, after chop, a little bit of oil. And this oil gives you temperature heat goes up. So just mix it. Then a little bit, if you like, black pepper. Now we're going to a hot plancha. The, I'm going to use today a flat plancha, but in a home, just of course that pan is fine. I think it's a little bit of oil. 
and give it a little bit of garlic. I love garlic, I put a lot. Yeah. Red onion, mix it up a little bit. Then I love anchovies a little bit. Then just exactly put a little bit on the side. And this egg. I love fried rice. Any kind of beef or lamb, whatever. Fish, beautiful. Then now time to throw in this fish. Throw in here. Skins, everything. A little bit more oil. Chop it up. This time, you know, fish don't cook too much, okay? Other too dry, okay? Then all the whatever you like, the chili pepper, a little bit jalapeno if you like, and the real red chili pepper, a little bit. Nice, beautiful color. And put back this anchovy, garlic, put together, then rice. They all, always in the restaurant, or well, my home, leftover rice, keep just in the layout in the fridge, make it dry. After that, just mix together all, break even. After that, a little more season, the salt. Then fridge, okay, say again, I'm saying leftover, or the, any kind of veggie, summer veggie, eggplant, zucchini, squash, whatever, chop it up, give it more nice flavor, summer fried rice, and a little bit of fish sauce. Give the nice flavor. All the rice is separate. Also fish perf perfectly cooked. Then plate. And if you like garlic chip, garlic chips. And a little scallion. And this is a fancy way if you have a botaga. You throw the botaga a little bit of flavor. But not necessary though, in the home, okay? <laughs> but what I, that's what I, what I like. This is Masa's fried rice. This is what I use whole, 100% whole fish, used up everything. This is my style. 